down the father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, this is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to fix any fake package game slash any homebrew application that is not opening with basically any hen payload except like hen plus mirror. And I kind of basically found out a fix on how to stop this from happening. So as you see here, I didn't run um, any payloads on my PlayStation 4. I'm just basically I just booted it up, but I'll show you what I mean so I could give you a little visual. So if I go ahead and go to my user guide and let the exploit host basically boot up, I have to do it twice for some reason because I had, I guess I have the DNS. So as shown here, if I go to PS4 and then just run the regular uh, hen payload, basically what will happen is, is some um, applications will allow me to basically, um, you know, play through it, but like if I would use the um, Hen Plus Mira uh, payload before certain games wouldn't work with that. So I'll show you in a second what I mean. So as you see here, even though I ran the Hen payload, my PlayStation 4 player, I'm not able to access that. Same thing with certain games and titles, like I can access the PS4 Explorer, I can access arcade game series Galica. Some of my PlayStation, or a lot of my PlayStation 2 games, excuse me, at the moment can't be ran. So Dragon Ball Z Budokai, or three basically I could run it um GTA San Andreas I can't Vice City I can and basically if you do have this uh, issue I think the root of the problem is due to the fact that a few months ago a lot of the uh, FPKGs were basically ran via by hen plus mirror but now since we're in 2019 a lot of the package files only requires to need or basically only requires hen to be ran to enable basically your homebrew packages and also any you know fake package games so for example here um my ps4 games were pretty much fine for the most part but like any of my older emulators and stuff um i couldn't like basically i still can't run it but in today's tutorial i'm basically going to be showcasing on how to fix that uh you know problem and issue so the first thing you will need of course is a joke broken playstation 4 and you need to be able to run an ftp payload from um your playstation 4 by using either the al azraf dns or x project or anything that basically could run the ftp payload because what we need to do is go ahead and get filezilla also on our pc and any uh tools and anything I'm talking about in this video I have a uh, link in the description below and as well um, once you have files the law excuse me we're gonna basically be going to our user slash license of uh, files and then basically we're gonna be changing some of the prefixes to those files so it will allow us to run um, any of our homebrew applications and also our games just with the hen payload and it would not require hen plus mirror as you even seen here at the DNS if I go back to it there is no hen plus mirror uh, payload because I guess it's outdated and most people now I think hen is more stable and I think hen plus mirror for a while was kind of like a beta testing among the developers but what we want to do now um, go ahead and just boot into whatever your exploit host is whether if you're using a web browser the you know from your PC or you know you're doing an Al Azraf DNS if you guys are interested in how to set up the uh, DNS like I have on the screen I have a link in the description below on how to set it up as well as a card above right now while I was uh, talking in the video there'll be a card on how to install that if you check out one of my videos but what we want to do now is go ahead and I click this one FTP basically let the payload run and what it should do is basically if your Wi-Fi is on of course um give us our IP and give you a little notification so that's my IP and also my port right there but now what we want to do is go ahead and go back to our PC and I'll explain a little bit more on how to fix this issue so I'll meet you guys back on the PC all right guys so you should be back on the pc as i stated before what you want to do now is go ahead and run filezilla if you don't have it i have a link in the description below as i stated earlier in the video on how to download it but now what you want to do is go ahead and type your ip whatever your playstation 4 ip is the one that uh, stated in the um, actual notification itself 
in this case this is mine and yours will be definitely different than mine I'll just remember mine so if you write it down or something like that you should be fine and then always your port for the PlayStation 4 is just like the Vita is 1337 just go ahead and hit quick connect if you get this little insecure FTP connection error just hit ok it really doesn't matter but now what we're going to focus on is going to this directory right here user and then license right here and now basically I'm going to explain why we have this little error or basically this problem and instead of just running hen um, still our games and applications still can't be run and basically the games are locked as you see here all of our games that state or well, I did some of them before this video all of our games that stated that uh are free basically this can just still be allowed to be ran just with the hen payload as you see here our older applications and basically our older games and stuff like that or homebrew have these fake uh, little basically this little prefix right here all we have to do to fix this process is very simple as well all we would have to do is just go ahead within it just right click it and then rename it to free by doing this um it basically will not need hen plus mirror to be ran in order for our games to basically boot up to our PlayStation 4 and to be basically ran into the main menu, you know, to utilize them in itself. Just by doing that, um, having the prefix word free once you restart your PS4 and then just ran or basically run any hand payload, excuse me, you'll be able to do this. So, what I'm doing now, as shown here, is just going ahead and right clicking and then over the name of our content ID for which game are basically our license files that's all you would have to type is just free and I have to do this for basically each run it may take a while for you guys to do this as well depending on how much F fake package files or basically any type of homebrew and stuff like that so since I had like 294 files I had to change it for so all I'm going to do now is basically uh, pause the video right here I'm going to go ahead and finish up um, basically renaming all of my files to free instead of fake and then I'll show you guys how it should look basically back onto the PlayStation 4 so once y'all guys are done basically naming all of your brief and dot IDX files as free I'll meet you guys back on the PS4 we're gonna restart our PS4s and then basically gonna run the hen payload again and I'm gonna show you guys in real time that this is a real fix Alright guys, so assuming that you are finished with the FileZilla process and basically you renamed all your files as stated once I showed y'all from there, what y'all want to do now is go ahead and back to the PS4 and then once you're back on the PS4 guys, what we want to do is go ahead and run our hen payload and before I even do that, I'll showcase that all my games are locked at the moment just to prove that, you know, the legitimacy of this video. And then from here, what you want to go to is basically any host exploit of your choice. I'm using Al Azov's DNS. Always got to reboot it for some hot reason. I wonder why that actually happens, but besides the point, let me go here. Okay, that's weird. It's not booting up for me. Oh, there we go. So after the third try, guys, um, go ahead into PS4. Go ahead and just install any hen payload of your choice it may give you an error as usual but once I basically restart this and then try to boot up hen for the um very first time basically it should work and I should boot into any game so it may take a little second because as you still see some of my games are not unlocking but as you see here um my Kingdom Hearts 2 game is um lock or unlocking all of my PS2 games are basically unlocking as well i guess this game right or oh there go to the store as well so i thought it was not locked but if i go boot into i don't know any game of my choice let's see what's a good game i'll, I'll boot into new speed hopper suit 2 as you see here um once that process is basically done you finish you know um renaming all to your uh, file the riff files from fake to free basically this method works a hundred percent um, if you guys did enjoy this video and I did help y'all guys, um, you know, with this process, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of content for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, the Vita, and also PlayStation Classic in terms of modding. Um, but with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.
so he's smooth. 